So you're PCSing to Langley Air Force Base or Fort Eustis, and maybe you've been watching my videos or you've started your home search online, and you're noticing that we have a lot of older homes in the area. And then we also don't really have a lot of new construction either, but you are looking for something new. So this video is for you, because in this video, we're gonna cover 10 different neighborhoods throughout the entire peninsula around Langley Air Force Base and Fort Eustis, where you can buy a home that's kind of newish, you know, like, so built in the last 15 or 16 years. So you're gonna get that modern home in any of these neighborhoods. So we're gonna start off with a few in Newport News. We're gonna start here in Turtle Creek, which is where I am now, head to York County, Pocosin, and then finish up in Hampton. We're gonna cover all 10 of those neighborhoods. Each section is gonna be pretty short. We're just gonna be in the car for the rest of the video, you know, just a minute and a half, two minutes in each neighborhood. I'll tell you enough about them to get used to them. And then the important thing is that in the description of this video, you're gonna find links for homes for sale in each one of the neighborhoods. So you're definitely gonna to wanna to go, if you see a neighborhood you really like, go click on the link in the description. We'll bring you up to an active search for whenever you watch this video. And you know, I really think that if you're looking for the newer home in this community, in this area, that you are definitely gonna get a whole lot out of this video. So welcome back to Moving to Hampton Roads. My name is David Tortellini. Uh, like this video, subscribe to this channel, and then when you're ready to get started, give me a call, shoot me a text, or send me an email. We'd love to help you out. All right, I'm gonna get in the car. I'm gonna take you to all 10 communities, and I'll see you again at the end of the video. Okay, and we're in our first neighborhood of Turtle Creek. And this is a neighborhood that I'm surprised I haven't covered more on this channel because it's a great one. So these were built between 2011 and 2015 by Ryan Holmes. And it's a really convenient location. It's about 15, 20 minutes away from both Langley and Fort Eustace. Uh, it's just a quick you know, two, three minute drive to Route 17 to jump on the highway. And then right across from that, you're gonna get into Newport News City Center where you have tons of shopping and dining in a great theater. So there's a lot to do right around this neighborhood. Very easy neighborhood to move into does have an HOA that's $20 a month. There are no amenities in this neighborhood. So there, there isn't a pool. Um, there is a playground just outside of the neighborhood, but it's not actually part of the Turtle Creek HOA. So this is a place where if you're military and you know you just need a really solid home and you want to come move in, have a great neighborhood, um, this is a great place to start. It's central to just about everything. So really convenient and easy option for you. And you're going to find homes in here that are anywhere from like 1,400 square feet up to 4,000 square feet. So really just a wide range of home sizes. And you're going to spend anywhere in this neighborhood from about 345,000 to 550,000 for the really big homes. So really you're gonna see a lot of the, the home sell in the high threes to mid fours for those homes that are around 1,800 to 2,500 square feet. Now we're in a neighborhood called The Preserve at Fisher's Creek. And you're gonna see it's a pretty similar style home to the last neighborhood we were in because it's also a Ryan home community. These were built between 2014 and 2017. And we're down off of Deep Creek. And this part of Newport News, Deep Creek, Hydenwood, Riverside, really considered among many people to be kind of the best part of Newport News. You're right by Christopher Newport University. It's just a really great part of town. Um, but you're gonna find here that you're gonna see homes that are a little bit bigger. They're gonna be about 2,000 to 4,400 square feet. So just the average home in this neighborhood is a little bigger and more expensive than the last neighborhood we were in. Most of these are selling right now for between about 450,000 and 600,000. So a little bit, I think you're, you know, you're paying for location a little bit since this part of town is, is a little bit more desired on average than the last neighborhood we were in. Again, simple $30 HOA, you know, no amenities or anything like that, but 
down here, you're really just, um, you're gonna have a really straight shot right up Warwick Boulevard all the way up to Fort Eustis, or you can go across town over to Langley Air Force Base. So again, really easy, approachable neighborhood to get into, a little bit higher price point than our last one, but just one of the nicer communities here in Newport News. And it's worth mentioning that right next door to this community is another community called The Woodlands, which is really an extension of this neighborhood with homes that were built between 2017 and 2022. So it is actually even bigger than what you're seeing right here. So between the preserve at Fishers Creek and The Woodlands, you have a lot of great options in this beautiful part of town. And that brings us to our final Newport News neighborhood. This is Hertzler Meadows. Once again, this is a Ryan Homes community. Um, after the crash of 2008, Ryan Homes was really in the strongest position to continue building in the area during this time frame. So this is 2018 to 2020, and we're off of Colony, kind of in the Menchville, Southern Denby kind of border right here. And this is a really nice area. My home that I had in Newport News is actually just down the street from this. So really good part of town. And in here, you're gonna find three bed, two and a half bath, kind of 1,700 um, square foot homes, all the way up to five bed, three bath, 3,000 square foot homes. You may buy a home here for anywhere right now between about 380,000 and the upper 500s for some of the large ones. And again, like the last communities, very low HOA. It's only $22 a month, um, no amenities, but really quiet, good part of town. It's next to another neighborhood called Shore Park. That's very popular and is a great older neighborhood with a lot of kind of 60s and 70s construction so this was a nice addition it was um, a horse farm up until uh, Ryan Homes purchased the the land from the homeowners um, or probably from the children I believe and develop this community. So uh, there's still a little bit of that here that you can go down to one part where you can see a couple of horses and everything. So cute part of town. You know, you're only going to be about 10 minutes from Port Eustis here, 25 minutes to Langley Air Force Base, NASA, and all that. And this will bring us over to York County for our first community in York County, and we're gonna be up in Sterling Springs. Now this is pretty far north in York County, and we're just on the border of the Naval Weapons Station. So if you're stationed at the Naval Weapons Station, this is gonna be unbelievably convenient for you to get to work, still easy to get to other bases and other large employers. Small community here, uh, you're looking at about 1,900 to 3,400 square foot homes. You can get a three bed, two and a half bath right now for around 415 and a five bed, three bath over 3,300 square feet for upwards of around 570. So these were homes that were built in 2014 to 2016 by VEI Homes. So our first non-Ryan home community. So it took us getting out of Newport News for that, but great little spot. The price point for York County up in this area is very good. You will find that York County homes are significantly more expensive than Newport News and Hampton. York County is known for its great school districts, for being a little bit of a quieter neighborhood, a little less densely populated. So uh, people pay a premium to be here in York County, but these homes actually come in much closer to Newport News prices due to their location. It's a little bit out of the way. You'll find that the prices are gonna go up significantly when we get a little further south into the tab area a little bit closer to Langley Air Force Base. And now we're further south in York County, and this is the Woods on Mansion Road. So this community started off as being kind of private builds or small local builders back in 2006, but then when the market crashed in 2008, construction mostly stopped for a period of time, and the community was picked back up by Ryan Homes. So the majority of these are Ryan Homes, but you're gonna find that they're larger than the last neighborhood we were in, and a little bit more of a luxury, kind of borderline luxury community here with 
2,600 to 4,600 square foot homes. And most of these are selling in the low 600s. So now that we're down in tab, this is zoned for all tab schools, which are very popular and, you know, and, and highly desired. Um, you're going to find the price point just goes up here. So low 600s compared to our last neighborhood. They are a little bit closer to base too. So if you're at Langley or NASA, you're only going to be about 10 minutes down the road. Very, very convenient. And this is just a really nice neighborhood. But you can see it also borders up to a little farm too. So you know you're still in York County. You're not in... Uh, a densely populated city more like Newport News or Hampton or down in Norfolk for sure you know so you are still in your county so there's a little bit of country aspect to it being here it's a little bit more laid back but people really like that and for the most part a lot of people are willing to pay a little bit of a premium to be here and uh, yeah, the woods on Mansion Road small really nice community here in York County Now we're in Pocosin, and we really haven't covered Pocosin much in this uh, on this channel, but Pocosin's a little small town of around 15,000 people, and you're gonna see little pockets of new construction here in Pocosin. There are, there are very few really big communities left to be built in the area. So this is Bull Run Manor, and they are kind of in the process of, of finishing up now. So there's a couple of lots left. I think for most people, by the time you watch this, unless you watch it the day I post it, probably the last couple of lots are gonna be gone, but definitely check with me on that. But you can find a 3-2 for it's 1,957 square feet for the low 500s. And then you can go up to around 3,000 square feet for the high fives or even up to 4,000 square feet, a big five bed, you know, three or four bathroom for around 600. So this is a really nice new little neighborhood that is attached to what we call Bull Run Estates. And these were actually built in 1999, 2000, but I figured that it was worth showing you these as we came out of the community because beautiful extension on what was already there. And this is our second Pocosin neighborhood. This is Lakes at Pocosin, built by Marquee Homes between 2008 and 2013. You know, these homes are around 2,000 to 4,000 square feet and have currently been selling for around 500,000 to 625,000. So like York County, Pocosin is known for its great school district. So people do pay a little bit more to be in Pocosin. The big thing you need to look at anytime you look at a home in Pocosin is flood insurance. A vast majority of Pocosin, the homes are in floodplains that require flood insurance. This neighborhood, coincidentally, does not. So currently at the time of this video, flood maps have it in a non-flood insurance mandatory area, which is which is great. Little $45 HOA here, similar to a lot of the other neighborhoods that, that we've seen, but Pocosin is a great little town, um, you know, just, it's a place where people tend to live in multi-generational. So there are a lot of people who have been here a really long time. It really is a wonderful place to live, extremely uh, close to base. You, know, you may only have about a seven minute commute to Langley or NASA from here. Now, big change of pace. This is Town Park, and I'm driving down Briarfield right now, and I really wanted to show you what it looked like from this main street, because I've always loved driving by this neighborhood. It's just, it's so much different than a lot of the construction that we have in the area. And so, interestingly, these are single family homes, but they are condo ownership, and there's $135 a month HOA fee to be in this neighborhood. And they were built between 2007 and 2012, and they're actually pretty decent size. They're between 2,000 and 2,600 square feet. You're gonna be looking at a lot of like three, three to five bed, two and a half bath, three and a half bath properties. And so, this is just a really unique neighborhood. Behind each home, there's an alley where you have access to your garage. Um, so you're not looking at yard space here. If you want a big yard, this is not the neighborhood for you. But if you're comfortable looking at a, you know, closer together, more of a city type of feel, this is a really great spot. Very cool and unique property. I love all the colors of this neighborhood there. It's just a lot of fun and it's easy for someone who's looking for something a little bit low, more low maintenance, but without having to be in that kind of townhome 
sort of feel, and these sell for the low to mid 300s. So the price point is much more approachable than the other neighborhoods that we've talked about, and you're gonna find that that's true throughout much of Hampton. And now we're in our second Hampton neighborhood, and this is called Hampshire Glen. This is a 172 home community built between 2007 and 2012 by H.H. Hunt. And H.H. Hunt is one of my personal favorite you know, production development builders. Uh, I think they do a really, really nice job. These are nice size homes between 2,000 and 3,600 square feet, and you're currently looking at around 400 to 500,000 in these. And one of the things I really like about the the homes in this neighborhood, a lot of them have a third floor that's finished as kind of like a big game room or almost like a finished attic space. So that's been a really nice feature that's kind of bumped up the square footage on these. And it's really you know, highly desirable, especially if you have kids or you just kind of want your own space to get away from you know the rest of the, the living spaces. $36 HOA here. And you know the other thing I like about this neighborhood is that it has sidewalks. You know, A lot of the neighborhoods throughout the region do not have sidewalks. Um, Kind of a unique thing i think a lot of the older construction just they didn't that's just not what they did but really nice community the, the one thing about this neighborhood is i think it's really undervalued because it's kind of off of this industrial road and it kind of as you're coming off the highway and so you don't really hear highway noise here but it's kind of a weird drive to get in here and i think a lot of people kind of discount it for that so really great value great opportunity to get in a beautiful neighborhood in hampton where we don't have tons of new construction we got the new playground right there um really solid neighborhood of sold a few in here and it's been a great experience. And here it is, our final neighborhood for the day. This is Mallory Point. This is a very small neighborhood right between Buckrow Beach and Fort Monroe. And so Buckrow Beach has seen some major improvements over the last few years. It's beautiful. Fort Monroe is you know, decommissioned military base that's now beaches and restaurants and is one of my favorite places on the planet. So you are in a really cool spot here. You can go down to uh, East Mellon Street where there are some of the best restaurants in all of Hampton Roads are located. Really Really cool, very small community. So Hampton is what we call a built out uh, city and you're really just not going to see very much new construction. These were built between 2019 and 2021, looking at low to mid 400s, $35 HOA built by Chesapeake Homes. So really cool, final place to finish up uh, in a really fun up and coming part of Hampton. Alrighty, well there it is, 10 neighborhoods throughout the entire peninsula of all newer subdivisions, you know, all within the last 15 years or so. So if you are sick and tired of looking at homes online that are built in the, the 60s or 70s in this area, and you're PCSing to Fort Eustis or Langley Air Force Base, then these are gonna be great neighborhoods for you to target. Of course, as I mentioned in the first segment, we are gonna have a bunch of links in the description to uh, homes that are for sale in all of these neighborhoods. So if you just go down in there, click on any of those, and it'll take you to what is actively for sale no matter when you watch this video. In the meantime, don't forget to like this video, share it with anyone else you know who may be moving to the area, and subscribe to this channel. And when you're ready to make your move, whether you're months out or even a year or so out, please give me a call, shoot me a text, or send me an email. My team and I are here. We serve the entire southeastern Virginia region, and we would love to help you with your move to Hampton Roads. My name is David Tortellini, and we'll see you soon.